Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to another Oil Field Basics video. Today, Derek and I will be talking about the importance of blowouts, what they are, and why do we even care about blowouts. Alright, so what is a blowout? Well, a blowout occurs when any amount of oil or gas is released uncontrollably from the well. In today's times, a BOP or a blowout preventer is installed on every well during drilling operations to prevent from such a blowout to occur. In the 1920s, before BOPs had been invented, blowouts were fairly common and were called gushers. This was where uncontrolled oil and gas were spewing out of wells, as you see from this image. So there are several factors that can contribute to causing blowouts, and all of which drillers try to mitigate to the best of their abilities while they're drilling, and they try to detect any signs early. So one of the first things to realize that when we're talking about a blowout is that these formations that we're drilling through have a natural pressure to them and some of the most dangerous ones that we drill through are actually over pressured compared to the other ones that are around the other formations. So when we're actually drilling through these formations we try to counteract this natural pressure as much as we can through the use of drilling mud. So drilling mud works by applying a hydrostatic pressure to the reservoir rock which helps to balance this pressure. So we typically have an overbalance we call it so the weight of the drilling mud on the formation is greater than the formation pressure itself. And if this balance is upset, then water or gas or any type of formation fluid or oil, any of it can actually enter the wellbore and begin trying to creep upwards. So this is a phenomenon that we call a kick in the oil field. And a kick can quickly escalate into what we call a blowout. So a kick is the influx of fluids into the wellbore and then a blowout is basically going to be the uncontrolled escape of such fluid. So we can typically detect a kick in multiple ways and that'll be a video all by itself but if a kick is detected the first thing that you typically are going to do is shut in the well to, to reduce the risk of a blowout and also um, you're going to typically there's lots of different ways of dealing with a blowout but one of the most common ones is actually going to be weight up your drilling mud and try to circulate it out so once that fluid enters your wellbore it's naturally going to want to migrate upwards so we're going to want to control its migration and also Add, apply more pressure to the formation so that, that we're not continuously taking more. Alright, so now let's discuss the three main types of blowouts that you may hear about in the oil and gas industry. The first and the most common is a surface blowout. This is where damage is seen on the surface of the rig and can cause just overall major damage. And so you'll see oil and gas spewing out of the well. It'll cause major damage to the rig and overall to the well pad. The second type of blowout that you may hear about is an underground blowout. This is an uncommon blowout where fluid from deep high pressured formations flow upwards to a shallow and low pressured formation. This can occur where casing has not been set yet because if there is casing, then there's hardly any chance of the fluid going up through the cement and into that low pressure. And so if you don't have casing, then the fluid has a chance of going into that lower pressure um, porous and permeable formation. And lastly, um, the third common type of blowout that you may hear about is an underwater blowout. This is a blowout that occurs offshore, essentially. And so why this is an important blowout is because they are so difficult to deal with. An example of this is the BP Macondo blowout that occurred in 2010 in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, this blowout went on for several days just because of the severity and the difficulty of capping that well and ensuring that the blowout is no longer um, occurring. And so those are the three main types of blowouts that you may hear about in our industry. So now why do we care about these blowouts? Well, blowouts can lead to great disasters that can include personnel loss at worst case scenario and even environmental damage. Yeah, this is absolutely one of the biggest things that we try to avoid in the oil field and can obviously be one of the most devastating as you, as you can remember from the Gulf of Mexico blowout and also the, the numerous blowouts that have happened on land and there's been a couple in Oklahoma recently where people have lost their lives tragically and this is definitely something that we try as an industry to avoid to our greatest potential but it's also we're dealing with the force of nature so yeah. nature is not always 100% predictable and sometimes that act, sometimes blowouts do occur. A lot of times blowouts can occur and they can be shut in and we can remain control of the well. Sometimes it takes a little bit more work than that to retain control. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed this video on blowouts and what they are and the factors that go into um, keeping blowouts from happening. And so with that being said, if you'd like to learn more about blowouts, the overall drilling process, 
um, to learning about what kicks are and how they could transform into a blowout, please go check out um, our website, oilfieldbasics.com slash learn for more. And also be sure to follow us on YouTube, uh, subscribe, like, and comment our videos. Also, we've got an Instagram page that we keep up, up to date pretty regularly with pictures of what we're doing in upcoming videos. Um, we're also on Facebook, uh, Facebook Messenger, and LinkedIn. So be sure to follow us on all those platforms to keep up to date with the most recent um, updates that we have.